sports cards. We managed to find one of these uh, flagship collection boxes from Costco. You get series one and series two packs and then the collection packs there on the side so uh, without further ado let's just bust into this and see uh, see what we get out of here I've been trying to find these Every time I go to Costco, and I finally managed to snag one this weekend. Right. So for, I think it was $33 and, and some change, you get all these packs. We get Series 1 and Series 2. Looks like we only got three Series 1 packs and we got seven Series 2 packs, which I'm not upset about at all. Series 2 has been absolutely fantastic. These, we'll save till the end. Let's see what our big card is here. Oh, nice. We also got the bonus card. Is it Jordan Lawler? I think these are the short print. Yeah, CTC 17. Heck yeah, that's cool. I'm glad that's Lawler. And we got JDOM on the, the oversized card. that out of there without messing it up a little but I don't think I'm really gonna do anything <laughs> these things are crazy let's put him back there I think I opened uh, one of these from um, one of just the regular series ones and uh, also got, I think, Volpe last, uh, for last year's when I opened it, so apparently I was just destined to get the uh, Yankees on those oversized cards, but alright, here we go. Start with Series 1. No way. We pulled an HFA Kershaw out of here, guys. Look at this. Don't sleep on these things. They can be sneaky good. And that is proof of it right here. Why does it got to keep being Dodgers? As a Diamondbacks fan, I love getting the hit, but I hate this. I hate it. I don't want that at all. Oh. Nice. All right. Next pack of series one here. To pull an HFA out of one of these, though, that's uh, that's pretty crazy. I'll take that all day. Dylan Cease, Mr. No-Hitter. Star 
Packers. And that's what those packs most likely are going to look like in all of them. That's all right. Uh, I mean, we got the Lawler short print and the uh, HFA. Everything else is gravy here. That's more than I expected to pull out of all of this. So, And to Shohei, greatest hits. Not that it's a big card, but it's a Shohei. You know? Chris Morrell, Varsho, Canzone. All right. So that does it for Series 1. expect to get anything else out of these but who knows series two well just about anything if you made it this far drop me a like and a subscribe we're still working our way up in the numbers we're having a blast opening cards connecting with you guys and all that so doing those things will help me you know know that you guys are still liking the videos and I'll keep making them I saw people started getting their home run redemptions or home run challenge redemptions back from April um, if you don't know how it works I had a buddy get one back on Paul Goldschmidt and he read the back of it and it's for the entire month so that's why, ooh, Adley, we'll take that. That's why it takes them so long, I guess, to process it, is because they're, people are just getting them now in August for April. Because it takes the entire month and then they have to make the cards and whatever, and I think that's crap. I think they could do it a lot faster, but his card did look really cool, so. I'm hoping that uh, I guessed Corbin's first home run, Corbin Carroll, I guessed his first home run right correctly, and uh, I'm hoping I didn't double down on it, because he hasn't hit anything, anything even close to 400 feet this year, um, and everybody knows he's been struggling, so, come on. Ted Williams on the All-Star. Nice. But yeah, I mean, if you watched when I opened my Monster Boxes of Series 2, you'll know that I pulled, uh, I did pull a, uh, one of the Mega Stars. Uh, and it was of Kershaw, of course. And, you know, he is, by all accounts, easily in the top three, I'd say, best regular season pitchers of all time. And uh, that's undisputable. Where in that top three he fits, that's the debate, right? But, uh, again, just tired of seeing Dodgers. Ooh, Ellie on the fantasy favorites. And he definitely is. He is my starting shortstop. Nice. I'll have to put a, at least a penny sleeve on that. Heck yeah. I think that's the first Ellie fantasy favorites that I've got. And that'll go straight to the... Straight to the set collection. 
So series two, we're still looking for the any of the short prints, Jackson Holiday, um, the fun face, anything like that, and no luck, no luck there. Those are one things I still have yet to pull, or any of the uh, any of the short print rookies out of series two. I have plenty of them in the Chrome videos if you've watched those. Got a good amount of them. All right, and the part everyone wants to see, the flagship collection cards. All right, Matos, Abbott, Swanson, Arias, and Lubob. These are cool. They're almost like, uh, was it Stadium Club, I think, is what, what they look like. Yoshida, that was not a single rookie in that pack. All right. There's Gabby. I'll take that. It's not a rookie, but more Kershaw and Seeger. All right, nothing crazy out of those. I'm not really sure. You know what we're chasing out of these, to be honest. But uh, they are cool. I like that they're full picture. I like the design of those. Those are cool. All right. Well, you're looking at the two best cards we pulled out of the very, you know, obviously the short print Lawler from the front, and then the uh, the HFA. That's you know, that's gonna take the cake every time. So cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll pick up another one of these if I come across them again or not. That was a fun rip. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but I, uh, I enjoy you guys spending the time to watch it, and uh, hopefully we'll be getting some more cards. I don't know. I'm thinking about buying some Chrome Monsters. They look like a fun rip. The X Fractors look cool, but who knows? They're like seventy bucks a piece, so I might be done. I might be done with Chrome this year. I'm not sure. But uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.